I'm in Manitou Springs, Colorado today, just outside of Colorado Springs. I'm gonna be doing the Manitou Incline, which is right there off in the distance. It's a really steep incline climb that is an average of 41% grade with a maximum of 68% in sections. So it's gonna be real steep. This is something that a lot of hikers and ultra runners like to take on this challenge. And so I've never done it before. It's not a race or anything but I'm just gonna see if I can uh, make it to the top and just kind of provide an overview video. Now, here are some stats that they have right here at the base that I'll do a quick video pass on. about 400 steps in to the climb. When you start, um, it's about 6,500 feet at the start. And you have to make reservations before you can go up here. It's uh, free, so it doesn't cost anything. But they only let a limited amount of people climb up this thing at a time. Uh, but I just made reservations the morning of and it's hardly anybody here. Every 100 steps, there's a marker. So I just hit 700. Once you get a little bit over 1200 steps, the incline gets significantly steeper. So it's already pretty steep. It's kind of gradual incline up to this point. Now it's really steep. So according to that, the average person takes an hour to get up to this point of the incline. And I've been going for 26 minutes. So faster than that, it says it takes the average person an hour to get from here to the top. So if I keep going at this pace, I might be able to make it like half an hour. But this thing is really starting to wear on me. I mean, it's significantly steeper once you get up, up here. The first 1200 aren't that bad, but the elevation plus the, the steps are a much steeper incline. I think this may be the false summit. Is this the false summit here? No, this is summit. Oh, this is summit? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you made it all the way up. Sweet.
Made it to the top in 47 minutes. Okay, so made it to the top and now I'm gonna go down the bar trail, which uh, some people said was three miles, some said four, back down to the bottom. So I'm not sure how far it's gonna be, but I'm gonna kind of jog down this until I get down to the base. This is a really enjoyable run down the bar trail. So I definitely recommend running down the bar trail after you hike to the top of the incline. Much more enjoyable, I think, than uh, going back down those 2,800 steps or so. All right, when you're coming down the bar trail, you'll reach a point where it splits off. If you go to the right, that'll continue down the bar trail. But off to the left, it's actually the incline over here. Now there's the Pikes Peak train, which you can take to the top of the mountain. Runs a few times a day. All right, I'm at the trailhead and that whole endeavor from start to finish, from the base of the incline to the top and back down took me exactly an hour and a half. So just over 45 minutes to get to the top and then about 45 minutes to run back down. And it was just over three miles, so it was about, actually it was exactly three miles um, from the top of the incline down the bar trail down here. So that was a lot of fun.